Hello, all you beautiful mountain movers. I hope you guys are having a blessed day. I just wanted to check in with you guys because I just pulled into the, uh, uh, I don't even know what you would really call this, but anyways, the city that I live in has uh, this thing called Safety Town, where it teaches all the kiddos uh, about safety and laws, and it's just amazing. I've never been inside, or if I have, at least I don't remember it, but I just think it's absolutely incredible. And so I wanted to share that with them, and I think that is so cool that they have this. Um, but I also wanna ask them if they can help me uh, with the school bus issue and with the umbrella issue. So I'm gonna see if they can point me in the right direction and I will let you guys know what they say. Hope you guys are having a blessed day. Oh my goodness, mountain movers. I just have to share this with you. This is so cool. I love the city God has me living in currently. Look at all this cool stuff that they have. This amazing lady um, told me I could grab whatever I wanted um, because I asked her if I could take a couple and she was super generous. But oh my goodness, as someone who has a heart for like kiddos and water safety and everything, I just love all of this. This is so cool. I wish more people would do stuff like this. Probably way bigger than anything locally. Yeah. So if if they're not required, that's like a state thing, right? Okay. That's that's something that's way bigger than anybody you're gonna. Yeah, yeah, right no. Um, the homeless thing is actually a little bit easier with locally, and I would I would recommend that, and it's like literally right down the street. Are you familiar with? Um, I've been born and raised here. So, so. Frisco Resale. Is, yes. So yeah. I, I'm trying to think of who their actual, what their actual nonprofit name is right now. It's escaping me. What's the place down here? The Frisco Resale site. What's their, what's their parent company? What's the name of the company? There they go. Frisco Family Services. Yes. Is who I would talk to them on the homeless stuff. Um, we're just not going to be able to. Yeah. That's that's their world, right? And we yeah. partner with them on a lot of stuff. And that's why I'm coming to y'all? Yeah. That's not my, yeah, no, right. so my that's, area. And it's for sure their area of expertise. Okay. Um, and they'll know what you can do to help them, what you can do okay. in other cities. Yeah. And they will know who to refer you to in those other cities. Yeah. Like, obviously, uh, Frisco Family Services isn't going to do much for your Dallas. Yeah, yeah. For anything like the other day. Right, but they can help you get in touch with with the folks here, and if you want to help volunteer with them or I'm actually going them. down to Austin to visit my first pastor, uh -huh. and I've wanted to see his church for a while. He used to be the youth pastor at Gateway, okay, and then launched his own church down in Austin. Yeah, so I just want to go down there, um, just you know, for because my job is essentially driving. Like I drive seven to eight hours a day, right? And I love it. But with that being said, I'm not really like confined to where sure. I go, and so I wanted to go down to Austin for a while. So I was like, perfect, I'll go there. And you just said to meet with potentially, possibly someone higher. Well, right. So it, I don't know the answer. Right? No, no, and, I, yeah. And I mean, you could start with the ISD here, and their building, their headquarters building is. Yeah, my mom runs in Frisco ISD. Yeah. She's a teacher. So, so but there, I think their headquarters is right down here as well. So there's, but Frisco Family Services will definitely be able to be the one that helps you. On your other mission, on your on your path for the your, umbrella, the umbrellas and stuff with homeless, they'll be the ones that will be able to connect you with um, whether it's a homeless shelter or, or different yeah. areas and ways to actually get that to them. Um, it's no, just, yeah. Okay. Good news is, is it's not a huge challenge in Frisco. The homeless population you get yeah. further south, you get the more yeah. it becomes an issue. Dallas. The closer even to the Plano. border, like, yeah. I guess, even yeah. Plano, though. I mean, I'm not even talking about oh, really? like, far south. Just, I grew up in Plano, so yeah, that's so interesting. South of us, right? And just, yeah. Plano's got a pretty good homeless population. It's a pretty really? Good, uh, around the Parker area. Yeah. Parker. I grew up on Legacy and Independence. Yeah. So, 
the dark train ends at Parker. And so a lot of times the homeless will ride uh, up there and they get kicked off okay. by the dark. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so they uh, end up kind of congregating in that area. Um, so, you know, uh, there's several groups in that city that help. And um, I don't, I'm horrible with names right now, but there's several uh, shelters and stuff in the front area that help. No, them. I really, uh, like I said, I appreciate your help. And, um, I was recently uh, stranded in San Francisco, and uh, like this was very, very recent. And oh my goodness, their homeless population is out of control, and it was terrifying. But with that being said, it was definitely very eye opening because so many I mean, I know the American statistic is one paycheck away from being homeless for yeah. the majority of people and that thought is terrifying and as someone um who could be an amputee or could right. have heart like i am not working as far as like med with i won't be working after that surgery if that sure. has to happen sure. and so it just you know realizing that horrible statistic and right. also like the, the rain and the cold and like sure. your stuff and so that's why I was like, I don't know if that exists. Yeah, so. where I would start would be with Frisco Family Service. Okay, Which awesome. No, I really appreciate your help. Um, They're at Maine and... And I'm sure I'll be back around because I'll probably bring some of my uh, kiddos over to Safety Town just for a fun day. But um, I can always check back in if I haven't made any headway or progress. And what is your name again? I'm my sorry. No, thank you. And thank you for letting me record so I don't forget. Yeah, no problem. That's the community education group for Safety Town. That's our phone number. Pray for your neighbors. I'm on the highway. You no, know, I'm, I'll get it. I'll get it. Um, I'll call someone for you. I can't. You, do you know what happened? Yeah, yeah. I'll, let me call someone. I'll stay with you so your car doesn't get hit. Yeah, I'll show you. I have it on because I vlog my life. You're not on camera physically, but I have the recording going. Um, but uh, let, just stay here because you're going to blow your tire. So just wait. Hello, all the beautiful mountain movers. It is the end of the day here in Texas. Uh, it was a beautiful day, and I am rejoicing in joy for the day the Lord has made. Um, I hope you guys had a fantastic day. Uh, I am about to head home uh, and see my mama and feed Winnie and just finish up the rest of my day with family. If nothing else, I hope that you take away uh, from today's vlog that it is the best thing in the world to remain where your feet are mentally and spiritually and physically and you are exactly where you are supposed to be in this moment. God has directed your path and he knows every step you're going to take. You are exactly where you are supposed to be and if nothing else, I hope you see that from the situation with the wall in uh, the middle of the highway and through the Starbucks employee I just uh, ran into that had the bravery and courage to ask to see Winnie and it made her day and so many other people's day uh, because of her bravery to ask and I told her I said I'm so glad you had the courage to ask because I was debating on whether or not I wanted to bring her in because it is so hot and I'm so lucky that I have a car that can remain locked locked and on with the alarm and the AC going. Let me make sure that perfectly clear to everybody. There is every safety measure in place for Winnie. If I ever run into a store or anything just super quickly, I even leave worship music playing while I'm away because God tells us that our weapon is a melody and when I have to run out to grab something or run to the restroom real quick. I pray over Winnie and I turn on my worship music and I trust that God has his hand of protection 
around my car, my animal, my baby, and my family. I hope you remember that as well, that God loves and protects you fiercely. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you guys tomorrow.